So the word defibrillator for today, we'll be trusting God for a word from within the word. Romans 5, verse 3. <laughs> Moreover, let us also be full of joy now. Now this is the Amplified Version, which is going to expand. So uh, there's going to be a few added extras as we go through this. And uh, we're going to definitely enjoy it this morning or for today. And so, uh, moreover, let us also be full of joy now. Let us exult and triumph. Isn't that fantastic? Isn't that a nice feeling? Exult like, yeah, baby. And triumph that, yes, we are great. We are fantastic. We have done it in our troubles. And rejoice in our sufferings. Now it's like, hold on a second. Didn't I give my life to the Lord to be part of the kingdom and not have any troubles? And no sufferings? Well, apparently not. Because there is a point behind it. Moreover, let us be full of joy now. Let us exult and triumph in our troubles and rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that pressure and affliction and hardship produce patient and unswerving endurance. Wow. Okay. So there is a reason why we need to triumph and why we need to rejoice in our troubles and our sufferings. Hmm. So in that, the reason why we get excited is because it's going to produce patience, uh, which is a fruit of the Spirit, and endurance. And then endurance, fortitude, develops maturity of character approved faith and tried integrity wow so we are producing our endurance after we've allowed troubles and rejoice in our sufferings but we've overcome them so we we get triumph over our suffering so even though we're going to go through it god still gives us the victory he still brings us through it. So in Christ is, is our victory. Our victory is in Christ Jesus. Okay. So now with that endurance, that fortitude of not giving up, we develop maturity in our character. Now it's approved by faith because people will look upon us. In fact, just look at your life. Look at how much you've been through and you're still here. You're still standing. And tried integrity. Your integrity has been tested. Integrity is doing what you say. And if you can't do it, don't say it. So that endurance develops maturity of character. And we just see it in, in some of our lives. I can remember the time where I thought I knew everything. And maybe if, it, if I did, I had no character to back it up. I would use it to my advantage. I would use it to make me feel better about myself. And the better, the more I can make feed people feel lesser than me, the more exalted I felt. But I didn't really go anywhere. I wasn't going up the ladder. I was just staying where I was, trying to keep everybody down. So in that, over the years, because of trials and sufferings and us enduring them, well, our character is developed. Look at you now. You have a mature character and it's been approved by faith. And your integrity has been tried and tried and tried. And you can do it. You can say no now. And character of this sort produces the habit of joyful and confident hope of internal salvation. Internal salvation is what it's all about. God wants everybody to be restored back to him. And we've got to keep an eye on the bigger picture. And when you grow older, the thing that really counts is the fact that you have somebody to love and they love you back. And you know where you're going when you die. You have that salvation. And it just brings an absolute peace. No more fighting over certain things. No more fighting with people because you have the security. And by the way, it's a character of this or produces the habit of joyful and confident hope of eternal salvation. Well, there's your hope and there's that smile on your face where that guy just won't stop smiling. He's always joyful. doesn't matter the, the trials and that that he goes through. His trials and his troubles, his sufferings. Well, he's aware of his salvation. Why wouldn't he smile? And that hope, verse 5, such hope never disappoints or deludes or shames us. 
For God's love has been poured out in our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Glory, hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this word today. Father, we, even though it's a bit tough when we hear it for the, for the first time, that we need to exalt and triumph in our troubles and rejoice in our sufferings, Father. But we do have this knowingness that we are being developed in character, Father. A character that is approved faith and tried integrity. And Father, we will stay joyful because we know and we have this confident hope of eternal salvation. It will never disappoint or delude us or even shame us. For your love, God, has been poured out in our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. What a gift. And thank you, Holy Spirit, that you continually pour that love into us and that you reveal the, the love of the Father to us and the will of the Father, that you're there to guide us and to keep us. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, that every tongue that rises up against us in judgment we do condemn. We thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen.